Hello Aquarius, welcome to your July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yellock. Pardon my appearance, I just woke up and I'm, I'm tired, but I feel like recording the remaining uh, videos for this month and you're just one of them. So um, here we go. What we do here in Aquarius, we will look at the energy uh, in a bit of a divided way, if that makes sense. We will look at your the overall energy for the month of July 2023 for your sign uh, before we then look at your emotional core emotional core is whether or not there's healing coming in uh, or trauma that needs to be released that kind of stuff before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of july 2023 for the sign of aquarius now when it comes to your overall energy in order for things to work you have to first look at yourself and decide to shine bright be the best version that you are and be the best version that you can be you are the sign of the giver the water bearer you are always there for others it is in your nature and yet when you look at shining bright you can only shine bright when the people around you aren't dicks right so here it is understanding that under pressure don't lower your vibrations, don't have your vibrations lowered, right? don't allow people whatsoever to lower your vibrations uh, because you deserve so much better. So, you know, pay attention, reflect on who is not treating you well and where are you not appreciated and then manifest change because that's ultimately uh, your responsibility to not sit with um, energies that don't serve you, right? So that is the overall energy. When it comes to um, your emotional core, there's neither the flow of energy in the sense that there's love coming in, nor is there the flow of having um, of needing healing. What energy, energetically speaking, flows here is, and it may sound a bit weird, but um, again, it's a bit of a reflective month again for, for Aquarius. The point here is, Yes, in relationships, because that's what they're talking about here. In relationships, we all have had bad times, right? You take you take the smooth with the rough, and that's all. That's all part of it, if that makes sense. Unfortunately, um, and so you are no exception. You had to go through a lot of crap. But the point is, what the guides are asking you to look at is how many times in your emotional life, especially in intimate relationships. Did you really feel joy? Did you really feel love? Did you really feel appreciated? And and should that be a very few uh, moments, then now it's time to, to manifest um, that this becomes a more stable energy in your life. But the point the guides are making is, if you have gratitude for the things you have already experienced, that's one way of, of, of saying, I know that I deserve only the best. And it sounds a bit, um, you know, like, like, a, like, a, like a TV ad or something, but you do deserve the best. And when you say, that's when I really felt great and I, you know, do, I want the same thing or, or I want to make sure that this is what I experience in my intimate relationships, that's one way of manifesting is, but having, having a bit of, a, of an inner gratitude towards and say, you know, it's not all bad. It hasn't been all bad. Um, there, there have been great moments and cherish them. It's really, really important. Ultimately, dear Aquarians, when it comes to opportunities, they're not really that forthcoming this month. Now, I have recorded loads of readings this month. You by default, the 11th sign. So you are the 11th video out of 12 that I do monthly. So for any other uh, reading, including yours, opportunities are not massively coming in. Now, the interesting thing about your, uh, when it comes to your, um, whatever sustains you financially sort of life, um, before you go and explore new things, you need to step back first. You need to heal a little for your experiences when it comes to your work life. Um, and then go and recover a little bit so that you're stronger when you look for new for new beginnings. 
but in the energy here you are crossing bridges already so the point is you may find that you're not super happy where you are and you already have internalized that understood that so there is a good chance that that because you already moving on if that makes sense that new opportunities therefore can come your way um, so keep going look at what you deserve look at what you want and uh, you're already crossing bridges so this is another thing where you have to reflect on how happy am i where i am and remember money is not a spiritual currency while money helps um, when they pay you for a shitty job or they pay you well for a shitty job it's still a shitty job right so um question then becomes would i ask my best friend to be in that position is to if the answer is no you have your answer right that's all i got quarians thank you so much for watching um please like subscribe and share and i see you next month